Sefer Tov, good morning. We know that in Parshat Naso and Sefer Bamidbar, the Torah tells us to the mitzvah for the Kohanim to bless the Jewish people every single day. According to many Rishonim, for example, the Sefer Haredim, the Mukhi Yosef, the Ravad, they say that there is a mitzvah also for the Jewish people to hear the blessing. So according to them, the Jewish people who listen to the bracha also receive a mitzvah, they're also part of the mitzvah. According to them, maybe, some want to say there's a chiyuv also, if you didn't hear Bikat Kohanim, it's also a mitzvah to go look for Bikat Kohanim and to hear Bikat Kohanim. Because there's a mitzvah to also to be blessed by the Kohanim. The Ramah brings in Siman Kuf Chavchet, Sirif Mem Aleph, Dalal, I'm sorry, that says that the Minhag Ashkenaz is not to do Bikat Kohanim every day, they only do it by Yamim Tovim and Musaf. Because they are of the opinion, the Bikat Yosef brings a few reasons, but one of the reasons is, is because they are the Kohanim are not in the highest level of Simcha, of happiness to be able to bless the Jewish people, so therefore the Mihai Shkenaz is the only to do the Yom, Yom Tov, when it's Vesamachta Vechagecha. As opposed to the Minhag Asfaradim, is to do Bekat Kohanim every single day. Now, Maran brings from the Yushalmi in Mesechel Megillah, in Siif Chavgiman, that a person has to make sure not to look at the Kohanim when they're doing the Bekat Kohanim. There's a few reasons in Farshim. Some want to say because it takes away from the focus of the Kohanim, and some want to say because the Gaur Sechagiga says that a person who stares at the hands or the Kohanim while they're doing the blessings, since the Shekhinah is resting on their hands when they're blessing the Jewish people, a person can get his damaged eyesight from staring at the Shekhinah, staring at the Kohanim during Mikat Kohanim. Therefore, we have a nice minhag also that the little kids that are in shul, the fathers, they take the kids under the talit of the father and they cover their face in order to teach the children not to look at the Kohanim where they're giving the, the blessing of the Kohanim. However, it goes without saying that a person is not allowed to talk during the Chazrat Hashat, or a petition of the Amidah, like we said many times before. And therefore, even when you do this beautiful minhag of having the kids under the talit of the father, they should make sure this is not a time for to give brachot and to say, Bra boshed, and Domo Chivi, and Doma Kupil, and Bezat Shem, all these things, they bless the kids during Bikat Kohanim, a person should just cover the head in order that the kids should not look, but you should not be talking because it's still their petition Amida. For sure, there's no reason to do this if your son is 30 years old, if he's 20 years old, he already knows not to look, so therefore there wouldn't be a reason to cover him. And there's not, I see a lot of people, they like to have their cousins, their uncles, their grandfather, the whole avlok under one talit. There's no chiyuv, there's no obligation to do this. There's just a nice custom for the kids, but it's not obligatory once they're older and they understand not to look. And lastly, the Gemara of Sechet Sota, Lamechet Amudalef 38a, tells us that the people who want to be blessed by the Kohanim, they have to be panim keneged panim. They have to be in front of facing the Kohanim. Therefore, Maran writes in Seif Chavdalet that whoever is behind the Kohanim is not included in the blessing. If you have a choice, if you have the ability to move, you're supposed to move and be in front of the Kohanim, stand in front of the Kohanim to be included in the blessing. And God forbid, if a person is standing behind the Kohanim, he won't be counted as part, he won't get received the bracha. And if, if a person